This is uh, Dr. Pavel Platt. Okay. Hello. Okay, Sophie and? Stop. Stop. When a child loses a, a tooth due to trauma, it's devastating. It's devastating for them as they're growing up, not only their physical appearance, but also psychologically, too. When you are an adult and you lost a tooth, you can easily replace it with prosthodontics or with implants. Uh, while you cannot use implants in, in growing children because of the growth process, so you need to look for other options. I've seen kids without any chance for a treatment for years. So when a friend of mine, uh, Dr. Ewa Czakroska, offered to get me an invitation to Oslo and to see how they treat uh, growing patients with autotransplantation of teeth, I immediately said yes. And it's how it started 18 years ago. We'll have a baby tooth down here we're going to take it out. And then the tooth that's underneath it is going to be transplanted up here. Autotransplantation is the process of uh, taking part of a person's body and moving it to another part of their body. And in this case, it's taking a tooth from one part of the jaw and placing it into another part of the jaw. In the cases we had today, it had severely injured teeth from trauma. And they had teeth in another part of their jaw that were not strategic, they could be removed, they were treatment plan for removal for orthodontic purposes anyway. So we used that tooth to move it from a place where it's not needed to a place where it is very much needed. To put teeth where teeth have been lost because of some mishap is just wonderful, wonderful service to a little child whose smile is suddenly broken. Here, you hold on tight to him. Oh my goodness. I think I hear some snoring. <laughs> The longer you, you treat patients and the longer observation you have, you are more aware of some problems with, uh, with implants. So I think the interest in transplantation is growing because the awareness of, uh, of treating kids is growing nowadays. And I'm very pleased about it because this is a special group of patients. This is a very sensitive group. These are decisions which are made for their whole lives. So we, we are kind of responsible for, for choosing the proper option to treat this. What do you like the most? Art. 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 So this is a very, very good alternative to give a young person a permanent tooth that hopefully will be there for the rest of their life, as opposed to waiting many, many years until they're maybe 20 at which point they could possibly have an implant. In a growing child where implants are impossible, I think it's, a, it's the future. The main thing about a transplantation is the surgeon cannot plan the treatment by himself. So there are at least three specialties, pediatric dentist, orthodontist and oral surgeon, and very often prosthodontist. The bigger group of dentists that are aware of transplantations, the sooner you will have the, the best results. Because it takes years to get the group together and to know how to do this. Because implants are so technique sensitive, we could establish a center here for excellence in transplantation. I really look forward to having something like that here at UNC. To me, I don't think there's a better place to go for dental trauma management. A lot of it's because we have the expertise at UNC, but we also have the people that care and that really want to do what's right uh, by these children. Thrilled with the results, first of all. I thought the, both cases turned out really well. Um, and I really look forward to the future for doing more cases like these. To see it happen today was amazing. You know, I've been in academics for 20 plus years, and to really get excited about clinical stuff again, you know, to, to be able to say, you know, I'm never too old to learn, always want to learn. Lifelong learning is what we preach, and to be able to experience that today was pretty remarkable. And to see something like this come together, um, and come together for one cause, the child, that's just inspiring. And it's what we should be doing every day.